You are watching TFF Teacher from Finland. My name is Jouni Vilkka and I am a teacher from Finland. This video is part of my series Introduction to Ethics. See the playlist link below. This time I will sketch a history of how the scope of morality in general has expanded over time. But as always, first I will ask you to consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the thumbs up button. It seems that, historically speaking, morality has developed in the sense that at least educated people now have not only more conceptual tools at their disposal when discussing ethics, but the scope of morals in general has grown over time. What I mean is that morality seems to have originally been merely a way to limit and alleviate internal tensions within an in-group such as a family group or something like a tribe. It was important for the survival of the group to maintain cohesion and to take care of its members. This could be ensured through reciprocal normative behavior, like giving gifts and making sure that the members do not steal from the community or harm it in other ways. But this morality was only applied to other members of the group, Outsiders, especially members of clearly competing groups, were not considered to be within the same rule set. The scope of morality was limited to the in-group. Other people could be robbed, raped, killed or enslaved without moral banks of conscience. Of course, it was still possible to trade with them as well, but in general, people of the distant past have been pretty horrible from our present day point of view. Moral thinking did improve over time, although first it was mostly just about increasing the size of the in-group from a tribe to much larger and also more conceptual groups and institutions, such as a people or a kingdom or a religion. Abstract ideas like stealing or violence being simply wrong, regardless of who was being victimized, started to become more common. Of course, it was always possible to come up with excuses for why that didn't apply, for example, to enemies of the kingdom during a time of war. It was still possible to do all sorts of evil things without moral qualms, like enslaving the enemy nation or their wholesale slaughter in some cases. But the scope of morals did expand, and at least in principle, if not always in practice, they began to encompass the whole of humanity. For a time, even slavery was excused with ridiculous racist uh, arguments that mostly boiled down to skin color defining whether one could be enslaved or not. But with a few exceptions, slavery is now considered abhorrent by all. That still doesn't stop the actual practice, as long as it is made to look like voluntary paid work in the capitalist free trade economy. And there are even obvious cases of slavery, such as was in the recent past perpetrated by the religiously motivated terrorist organization known as ISIS, or is probably being perpetrated by several ordinary criminal organizations that stoop as low as human trafficking. But wherever and whenever such human rights abuses come to light, they are unanimously denounced by the international community. But that is not the end of the story. The scope of morality seems to be expanding still. It is no longer limited to just humans, but other animals are included within the group of moral objects as well. The idea that killing is evil has been obvious to many for a long time, and not just the killing of humans. That is why some people and some religions have been teaching vegetarianism. Now that food technology has advanced greatly from what it was two millennia ago, it has become easy and fairly common, at least in the so-called developed nations, to at least reduce meat consumption, or even to go completely vegan. This is not, of course, only because of moral reasons, 
as it is more and more motivated by the rational self-interest in trying to mitigate the climate crisis. But self-interest is not the only reason, as can be seen from the fact that most countries now have laws against mistreating other animals as well as humans. And not just pets, but animals used in production as well. The term farm animal is a bit too misleading to be used here. But even this is not the end of the story. We as a species are becoming more and more aware of our impact on this planet. Our geological era is called Anthropocene by some because of the extent of our influence, intended or otherwise. In fact, most of the harm we are doing is not really intentional. With the rising awareness, we are also expanding the scope of our morality to cover other life forms, such as trees, forests and even landscapes. As humans are now polluting even the space above Earth's atmosphere with so-called space debris, our moral thinking also, very slowly, begins to take seriously our cosmic role. At least those interested in space exploration have to consider things like the ethical problems involved in the possibility of accidentally contaminating other heavenly bodies with our germs. International laws about the exploitation of outer space are outdated and there have already been calls to prevent the destruction of our solar system for short-sighted benefit. I'm not claiming that everyone has already gone vegan, of course. Most people in so-called developed countries are unfortunately still brainwashed into very consumerist lifestyles as well. Clearly, the majority of people have always been following far behind the avant-garde. But the scope of morality has expanded and seems to be expanding still. It may take time for the rest to catch up, and we may be running out of time in which to catch up. But that very same reason for which our time is short uh, is also motivating people to catch up. We are forced to change our lifestyle, reducing consumption, especially animal consumption, and travel, especially by air. We need to rethink our societies built around private car ownership, uh, ridiculous and pointless work, and dysfunctional political systems. Not exactly a small order, but we just have to do something, or mankind will not survive for long. It is partly up to you, as well as me, and everyone else, to do something about it. I do hope you take that message seriously, but whether you do or not might have to do with your own level of moral development, which is the subject of my next video. Until then, and bye for now. If you wish to support my channel, please click thumbs up, subscribe, and share my videos. Any comments on the videos would also be welcome.